The reason I vlog, or that I like to vlog, is that it keeps me busy. There's not much that hasn't been blogged or vlogged about in the Philippines. It's all there, and I'm not sure why some vloggers keep beating the same dead horse. The reason I still do it is because it's become a hobby. It forces me to get out of the house where I can enjoy the natural beauty of the surroundings in the tropical islands. While vlogging helps keep my mind active, I still have to find other ways to stay physically active, obviously. And that's another topic I've talked about before. But the enjoyment I get about vlogging in the Philippines is the positive human reactions I receive. I see that. I see that. Oh, is it a birthday party? Huh? Yeah. You want oh. to drink with us? Oh, later maybe. Okay. Vlogging with a closed Western mindset here many times might lead to a negative reputation, eventually. For those who have been around a while, you might remember the 2012 video titled 20 Things I Don't Like About the Philippines. It was a video directed by Michael Goodman and narrated by a one Jimmy Siska. This video went viral and it didn't take long for the Filipino public to take notice. Hey, I'm Jimmy. I've been living and working in the Philippines for three and a half years. In that time, I've seen and experienced all the beauty and wonders that this country has to offer. I've also seen and experienced all the f***ing bullshit that this country has to offer. And here's one of them. You have a gigantic hole in the sidewalk. How do you fix it? Put a f***ing garbage can in. In the end, however, Jimmy said the Philippines is a beautiful place at the end of the day. It's filled with over 7,000 islands, friendly people, the food isn't so good, it's a bit noisy, and it's really dirty. So if you're planning to stay for an extended period of time, be prepared to be pissed off. But this final statement by Jimmy didn't help his case much because Jimmy was quickly branded as persona non grata. Persona non grata, in the context of Philippine governance parlance, refers to individuals or groups declared as unwelcome in a particular locality. Persona non grata is a Latin term meaning unwelcome person. In the context of diplomacy or international relations, a persona non grata declaration on a foreign citizen, usually a diplomat who otherwise has privilege of immunity, is barred from entering the country which issues the declaration. In the context of local governance in the Philippines, local government units could declare a person persona non grata. One such reason for a move would be in response to the particular person breaking local ordinances and laws. Foreigners can also be declared as persona non grata by LGUs, although this is usually an extreme action. This designation is merely symbolic and non-binding, and does not legally prohibit a person declared as persona non grata from stepping foot on that locality. If a foreigner's conduct is unbecoming or illegal, it will usually result in deportation proceedings. So here's another thing that pisses me off. It doesn't look safe. This is why everything in this fucking country is under construction. He left the country shortly thereafter. I've never had a problem soliciting happy reactions and smiles from the people that I encounter along the way, and it makes my vlogging experience that much more enjoyable for me, at least in the Philippines. Vlogging in Guam, for example, is a much different experience, as people in the West tend to value their privacy much more than the folks here in the Philippines. Are they, are they with you? Yo, can you guys go away? Why are you recording us? Yo, can you guys stop? Are they with you, man? No. Can you guys please go away? You wanna go away? Hang on, babe, babe, baby, you back up. You back up. No. Hey guys, why are y'all recording? Yeah, yeah right. why y'all recording? You wait, not, wait guys, hold on. Guys, I got, wait, hold on. I got this. I got this, man. I got this. Why are you guys recording? You have no business recording me. Not one bit. No, no legal right. In the Philippines, people are more than happy to be included in a video than not. And some actually get really excited, and that keeps it fun. When it comes to recording videos of other people in public in private places that do not capture communications, the law is not clear whether this is illegal. 
However, it's usually advisable to avoid recording people in places where they expect to be free from surveillance or where they have a reasonable expectation of privacy. Currently, there are laws that cover wiretapping and voyeurism and are fairly straightforward. The laws pertaining to expectations of privacy in the Philippines are very similar to those in the United States. So videoing someone in public is generally fine unless it is considered bullying or harassment. Most times, if I'm unsure, I will politely ask for permission. Can I put you on YouTube? Huh? I'll put you on YouTube, okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. on YouTube? Nasa yo, kaya kaya. I will be happy. YouTube? YouTube. Okay. And what's your ano? And sometimes the most difficult permission to obtain is from you know who. No, 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 no. Do you feel like eating dinner tonight?